Yo, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper. Welcome to another very, very quick tip. This one's on using Massive inside of Live with some MIDI or on your keyboard. I've got a, this question a couple times last week. In fact, just last week I got, I think two people asked me the same question. So I figured we're gonna make a video. Right now, Massive, when you make a new patch, doesn't respond to these velocity notes down here. And when I make a patch, I usually forget to adjust the parameter to make my patches adjust to the velocity. And it's pretty important. So I'm just gonna show you um, how to do it. It's actually very easy. Right now, this is what this looks like. Even though I've got this staunch uh, velocity curve here where it should be really quiet and then get a lot louder, it doesn't do that. So let's just go ahead and listen to the patch. So as you can hear, it doesn't work. So what I'm gonna do is come into Massive real quick. I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna come to envelope four, which is the main envelope and just turn up the velocity here. And you can go ahead and turn it all the way up and then it's gonna respond a lot more to the velocity changes in your keyboard and also in the MIDI itself. So if we come back and look at the MIDI, when we play this now, it's gonna start real quiet and get a lot louder. And if you have a keyboard, now you'll notice if you hit the key uh, softer, it'll play softer. If you hit it louder, it'll play louder. Cool. But yeah, that's just a really simple way to get the velocity sensitivity going in inside of any of the massive patches that I've given to you or any that you encounter that aren't already being responsive to the keyboard touch or the velocity nodes down here inside of Ableton. See you next time. Peace.